Good afternoon. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at uh, the actual email that Blind received from Sermon Audio and see how he reacts to that. Blind gets warned and just ignores warnings. And we're going to look at that article. He gets one article from Stanford to justify this nonsense about, you know, gender, not gender, but uh, racial uh, differences. Obviously, a woman of a small pelvic is going to have a problem giving birth no matter what issues. You know, no matter what the way she's married to, it's ludicrous. Um, let's see here, so okay, it's not there. Let me go back here. Okay, here we go. Free birthing video wanted to be removed from sermon audio. This was December 28, 2015. About one minute in. December 22nd. Hello, Bill. I would like the names of the people who have complained about my video in accordance with 1 Timothy 5, verse 19. Again. Oh, so people complain about his video and he wants names. He wants names. Because because he's writing it back, the guy now. I would like the names of the people who have uh, complained against my video in accordance with 1 Timothy 5, 19 against uh, an elder received not accusation. Like this guy's an elder. An elder received not an accusation, but before two or three witnesses. Scriptural. Also, Deuteronomy 19, verse 15 says, One witness shall not rise up against any man for any iniquity or for any sin, and any sin that he sinneth. At the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses shall the matter be established. Okay. I am well within my rights there. I am a uh, preacher. Okay. I've been in ministry now for a long time. And if somebody is coming and they're giving complaints, I want to know who it is. My video is being attacked. Uh, the video in question was... See, he's always being attacked. My video is being attacked. Because it's idiotic. On childbirthing and only mentioned being of the same kindred to avoid birthing problems. Kindred means race. The statement was not racist in any way. Am I to understand that your policies for removal of videos are simply based on some complaints from unidentified people. How is this a scriptural position in Christ Jesus? Brian Denlinger. Okay. I think that's a very good thing there, but uh, let's see what Bill says here. Bill Nooncaster. Hello. It doesn't even give me enough respect to say my name. There were... There were... He's sure worried about getting respect with him. He worried about, you know, people paying him the proper respect that he thinks it's due him. The guy is the biggest phony there is. He has no ministry. He makes YouTube videos. He thinks that's a ministry. No accusations. But down here, he says, we've received some complaints. Okay. It's racist. Uh, we received complaints it was racist, but there are no accusations. Uh, yeah, okay. As stated on the Articles of Faith page, Sermon Audio reserves the right to remove content without prior notice. Why is that on the Article of Faith page, by the way? I thought that would have scripture. Interesting. You understand, he's, he, they're allowing him to put videos on this. Brian thinks he has all these kind of rights, so he can do anything he wants to do. This is their property. And they can do what they want with it. And Brian doesn't get it to his head. He thinks he just he, he can just do anything he wants to do. And he has a right to, oh, this is not scriptural. We reserve the right to reject membership applications at any time at our sole discretion. Thank you, Holy Father. Pope Nunkesser, apparently, here. Okay, and, and notice, by the way, too, the uh, uh, original uh, email subject was Reconcerned Listener. Okay, I don't know why I even titled it that way. I guess somebody sent that, but you know I get sent it. But then here he says, "Subject: Sermon audio cancellation." Nice little threat there. We do not feel that this that the content is a good fit for our listening audience, and we are simply asking you to remove the content in question. Thank you. Uh, chapter and verse, none given. He doesn't have to give it. He owns the sermon. He owns the the site. He doesn't give anything. He doesn't give you any any notification. He, don't like, he doesn't like the sermon. He takes it down. You have a right not to put the sermon up and to not deal with them anymore. He has a right to take the sermon down. 
Here's my reply. Bill, please explain these two contradicting statements to me. Quote, we have received some complaints about the statements regarding race. Another quote, there were no accusations. He's a hypocrite. All I am asking for here is an explanation. If you are a Christian, what it is is that he didn't any personally accuse Brian of anything. They didn't like the content of the sermon. They weren't accusing Brian of being a racist. They said the, the content of the sermon had racial overtones, racist overtones. Brian can't figure the difference out. Why wouldn't you be willing to tell me where I have erred from scripture with what I have taught? My YouTube account was falsely flagged for a copyright violation. Of because there's no way in scripture does it talk about people not intermarrying because of dangers of childbirth. Nowhere. Nowhere. Childbirth itself is dangerous. But the idea, nowhere to say in scripture, don't marry that particular kindred, or, or, or what they call kindred, because you might have a more difficult time with childbirth. About a year ago, they provided me with the name, email, and other info on the user who made the accusation against my video. Why won't you be as honest with me as non-Christians from YouTube? I think that's a good question. I would also like to add that we are paying you to put our sermons on your website, whereas YouTube is completely free. If my account is subject to having sermons removed with no explanation, then what liberty to speak truth do I have at Sermon Audio? You don't. You don't. You can put videos on your own channel. You can put videos up on your own web page. But Sermon Audio, you're going on their site, and they have a right to determine what the specifications are within that uh, site. If they want to set up a certain criteria, that's their business. In Christ Jesus, Brian Nemen. Okay, here's his reply. Hello, we are simply not comfortable with the content, and we do reserve the right to remove content. See their Articles of Faith page. Please remove the sermon in question. Thank you. Bill Noonkesser. And uh, we did a little bit of research into this whole thing. It turns out that this Bill Noonkesser guy... By the way, Rachel died. Just checking here on uh, Jacob. You know, Rachel uh, died of uh, childbirth, in childbirth. She wasn't married out of her kindred. It doesn't matter if you're out of your kindred. You can still die, in, a woman can still die in childbirth, which is very common before medical uh, advancements. Here's his picture, by the way. Here's what he looks like. So what? <laughs> the guy looks like. Right here. This guy here is removing multiple sermons just at his own whim, no explanation, no scripture given. It's his site. Just right. He can do what he wants with it. When you join Sermon Audio, you join under the, under, under the understanding that if he doesn't like a particular sermon, he's going to yank it. That's as simple as that. Just poof, go on. Get it off or we're going to shut your account down. Uh, this isn't how Christians handle things. Okay, you give you give uh, reasons for it. Right? And he goes to some kind of a... He gave me a reason for it. He didn't like it. He thought it was had racial overtones. He probably thought it was idiotic, which it was, and said, "I don't, I don't like this. This is a, this is stupid. This is a stupid video talking about when you throw in the idea. Well, you know, there's more than if you you know if you're married to a you know a, a different race, you better have take more precautions in your natural childbirth because there's more danger. You know, we well, really talking to small women. It's the size of a woman that's a, the issue there versus a bigger woman. Presbyterian." Uh, reformed type of a church. So he's a Calvinist, you know. Well, you joined the sermon? What are you, what are you complaining about the uh, his background now? A lot of Calvinists there on Sermon Audio, and it's it's interesting how there's a lot of heresy, just out and out heresy. So he got kicked off Sermon Audio. He had no problem being on Sermon Audio, knowing they were Calvinists. But when he gets kicked off, he complains about it. Heretical people on Sermon Audio, but I come out with a video um, completely scriptural, you know, ironically, it's kind of... There's scripture about telling people they can't marry within uh, a different kindred would have more danger in childbirth. Nothing scriptural about that. There's not one scripture that says, oh, don't marry uh, another race because you might have more danger in childbirth. <laughs> Funny because many Christians are celebrating uh, you know, Christmas, remembering the birth of Jesus Christ, 
And I know he wasn't born December 25th, so don't go off on that. But the point is, a lot of Christians are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ at this time of the year. And what we are advocating with the free birth, the natural birthing thing, is exactly what Joseph and Mary practiced. Of course, you know, Joseph was not the father of Jesus. I'm the father of my son. You know, it's not God as his father or anything. But we had a, our child completely, just the two of us. There was no midwife involved. The same thing as what Joseph. Most guys have a midwife involved. How ridiculous is that? How ridiculous are these people? Mary did. Um, you know, there can were... I compare yourself to Joseph and Mary? How long? Do, uh, uh, what, what kind of lunatics are we dealing with here, people? They're comparing their birth of their son to that of the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what they're comparing themselves to. You people who follow this guy on a lunatic, oh, on lunatic stage, nut stage. Well, Joseph didn't have a choice. Mary didn't have a choice. There was no room for them in the inn. They had no way of having a, 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 midwife, a, a midwife there. A lot of similarities. Uh, and it's ironic because we actually, my wife actually read Luke chapter 2, first quite a few verses there, you know, a number of verses talking about how Jesus was born. So he's comparing himself now to childbirth, the childbirth of, of the Lord Jesus Christ and their birth. I mean, women have child, children without medical attention all the time. You know, all you and everything, they'll have, their child, they'll have children in the, in the fields and just continue working. What does that have to do with anything? And, you know, right at the same time, this Bill Noonkesser is saying, take the sermon down. We, we, uh, we're not comfortable with the content uh, so his idea is, well, don't take the sermon down because our birth of the son mirrors that of Joseph and Mary and the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. See, even though he put in the idea that, along with, along with that view, that, well, there's a greater danger if you're married to, into a different race. Oh, well, that's uh, how your Savior was born there, Bill, if you are a Christian. See that? This lunatic can compare himself to the birth of his son to the birth of his savior. <laughs> my birth, my wife didn't have a doctor or a midwife. We, we, we just followed the way Mary and Joseph did. Christian. Uh, very interesting. And, you know, I think that really what's going on here is the fact that uh, this original thing here, concerned listener. You just got to love that little politically correct thing. I'm just a concerned listener. I think it was one of uh, little Brian Moonan's followers, his little cult that he's got going over there. So now it's Brian Moonan's fault. See, it's never Brian's fault. Now, you know, they, it's me, it's my fault. They, you know, it's uh, Max Bowser's fault. It's Brian Noonan's fault. Everybody's going after Brian Denver. You know, the guy's a total just whatever. I mean, professional television guy, wife works for the Department of Defense, you know, but there are Christians that will still listen to the guy. Incredible. Incredible anybody listens to you. I mean, does not know the Bible, and he thinks he can come along and he's you. Just blast ministries that have been around for years and years and years and years. You don't have a ministry. You just put videos up. You don't have a ministry. That's the biggest force there is. You know, he puts a video up and thinks he has a ministry. Years and years. You know, uh, Dr. Peter S. Ruckman and John, Eric John Phelps, you know, uh, two phenomenal men, very intelligent men, uh, far more intelligent than I am. And, and Moon Ann just puts, puts out a little video and chops their stuff all up and a little propaganda hit piece. I can he always says he chops everybody up. Everybody chops this stuff up. That's the argument. He's chopping me up. You know, <laughs> don't chop anybody up. Ruckman has some bizarre ideas about race. And so does Phelps. He wants to have a white nation. A more white nation. That's what Joe Bryan, you know, that's the same view Bryan has. And he doesn't want to quote racist. I almost guarantee you that that's, that's what this is all about. You know, it's just, just incredible. Absolutely incredible. You know, it's, it's just weird because for a long time I thought, well, you know, uh, if I get kicked off of anything on the Internet, it's probably going to be YouTube first. And see, he's getting copyright strikes. This is 2015, people. This is way before anything happened to me and Max. So he was already getting ready to get kicked off of YouTube. So don't let him give this con job that this all began with me and Max. This began because those two people are nuts. 
Both of them are crazy people. Uh, I'll at least be safe with fellow Christians at Sermon Audio. Well, well you know the Calvinists. Yeah, I'll be safe with Sermon. So he then goes to Patreon. You know, now he's complaining to Calvinists, though. Well, I'm wondering. <laughs> Just incredible. We, we have to wonder much longer because they yanked him. So uh, this is the kind of stuff that we're dealing with here, brethren. Um, professing Christians like this guy right here just no see now we, now that person not safe professing Christians see that see that see the the trend see how the, how it goes 2015 anybody who poses Brian Denker is unsaved now that guy is a professing Christian he's not a Christian you can't be a Christian and pose Brian Denker that's impossible scripture given no explanation just we just you don't have to give me an explanation. He says on it. We have we they reserve the right to yank any sermon they just don't think deems is appropriate for that page. Brian thinks he owns everything. And he wants to compare the birth of his son with the birth of Lord Jesus Christ. And he uses that as an analogy. And they're talking about like, well, look at us. We you know, the guy's crazy. No midwife? Are you telling you the, the woman to have a birth without even having a midwife there? That is dangerous, dangerous uh, 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 suggestions there. I want you to take it off. Uh, you know, lies to me. Says we received complaints and he says there were no accusations. Excuse me? Uh, this isn't how Christians deal with things, brethren. Yeah, well, right off the bat, Brian says you're not a Christian if you uh, disagree with them. Uh, and that's the whole issue with him. So now he's a professing Christian. Finds out he's Calvinist. Uh, and he was very talking about being killed for YouTube. 2015. And his ministry, he's a minister, he's an elder. He's an elder. He's this, he's that, he's young man. And he's comparing his, the birth of his son to the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. Tell, so just tell him women, a natural childbirth without even a midwife present. Childbirth is dangerous. That's why you, you pray dealing with uh, childbirth. And he said, Rachel, Rachel died giving birth to Benjamin. This is why these people, you know, you know it's going to, they're hiding up in, uh, you know, up in Maine up there. And the guy will continue to lie to you, lie to you, lie to you. And uh, he gets upset when people pressure on him and expose him. In that case it was Noonan. Now, now it's Ed and Max. Oh, I'm being persecuted for my beliefs. He put up one article from Stanford, and he thinks that's that's proof of anything. That article, and uh, that showed like, oh, you know, yeah, women should just have natural, and then not have birth certificates, not have social security numbers, not no uh, vaccinate. I mean, everything. I mean, the guy's insane. Absolute lunatic. So I'll stop here and put this up. Amen.